Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and this is SketchUp Square One, where we take a look at the fundamentals of using SketchUp. Today, we're going to talk about creating meshes with sandbox tools. So, we can kind of think of this as uh, a mini playlist inside of the greater square one playlist where these next three videos, this one and the two after, will dive into all the tools of Sandbox Tools. Normally, a square one video dives deep into a single tool and we just talk about that one thing. Sandbox Tools kind of all work together. Uh, there's some that you can use with or without the other tools for sure, but uh, they're kind of like a suite of tools unto themselves. Uh, but some of them maybe don't warrant a full 10 minute video. There's not that much to it. So we're gonna break it into three pieces. Today, we're gonna to look at creating meshes using sandbox tools. Let's go. Okay, so this is the sandbox toolbar. You can see we have what, seven buttons across here. Uh, I turn this on if you go to view, tool palettes on Mac, uh, toolbars on Windows, and you can just turn on this toolbar all by itself. The individual uh, buttons, of course, can be added to custom toolbars or the, the main Mac toolbar. If there's one or two you find you really like, and you don't like the rest of them or don't have use for the rest of them. Today, we're going to take a look at these two first ones. So this is a, a, the creating a mesh from contours and creating a mesh from scratch. Um, we're going to go in order. This may, may, may be a little confusing, but uh, first, just a quick high level. What Sandbox Tools is created for is creating... Uh, well, like landscapes, like, like well, think, think of the sand inside of a sandbox really is what we're looking at. Creating a flat mesh that we can then go through and create, you know, organic moves, mounds, bumps, that kind of thing. And then all the things that go along with that. So things like if I want to cut a road into it or a foundation hole, something like that. These are the tools to do that work. Um, there are other ways to do a lot of the things we're going to look at here, but Sandbox Tools is kind of the native solution to creating uh, landscape type geometry. So the first one we'll look at here is from contours. So in order to use this, we need some contour lines. So I happen to, if we zoom out here, have this set of lines. So if I look at it from the side, I can see that one to the next, they each step up like this. And if I look at them from the top, I can see they're kind of like a little topo of maybe a little hill or something like that. Uh, it looks like they were actually bound by a square or a rectangle at some point. Uh, that's that's gone now, but let's let's take a look at what From Contours does. Now, with From Contours, you do have to have a set of lines. Um, these lines cannot be individually grouped. Sometimes I have seen, uh, you know, like topographic line information like this come in where each of these, each height was separated from the next by a group or something like that. That's not going to work in this case. In this case, I need all these lines in the same context. So if I grab all of that, these are the pieces that I want to create a contour map or a mesh from. So I'm going to go ahead and click the button. And this is what it does. See that it goes through and it just connects, it hooks up those lines. And I have this now. If I double click to go into this group, we're gonna to go to view and turn on hidden geometry. And you can see this is what it did. So it went through there, it found the edges to every line in those curves and basically just stitched them one line to the next. It did not assume anything. It didn't, it didn't assume how the edges go together. So you can see at the corners, we got some kind of weirdness going on because it only connected where the lines were. So there, there were no lines over here pulling this out into a straight corner. So it didn't do anything there. Same thing down here. Did not, did not assume we have a square corner. So one of the things that you may want to do if you have lines you're importing, I'm going to go ahead and delete that mesh we created right there. You may want to do something like uh, I might want to come in here and draw a line like that to give me a flat point at the top and maybe do the same thing at the bottom or I can come down like this. And then maybe over here, this gets a little trickier because I have to figure out where my meshes would meet at a corner. Maybe I'll try something like, like that. And then this top corner, same thing of this line run up until it hits where this edge is. Oop, it already does that. So maybe with, with that, let's see what happens if we select that. 
Okay, so there we got a square, at least. We didn't have those weird corners running off there. So something like that may be, may be helpful to get you a better looking mesh. Now, the important thing to see is one, once this runs, I'm gonna turn hidden geometry back off, and I'm gonna move this piece over to the side. This mesh that it created is its own thing. It doesn't actually, at this point I could come in and just delete those original lines if I want. I don't even need them anymore because this is the mesh that it has created. So if you're in a situation where you have like a, uh, a topo drawing of a, a surface you need to, to create in SketchUp, something like that, this is how you do it. You bring those lines in, you select them, you run from contours and it creates this, this mesh inside a group that you can uh, work off of there from there on in. All right, we have the ability of creating a mesh from scratch as well. And this can be used for landscape, but it can be used anytime you want a nice ordered mesh. And by ordered mesh, I mean, well, you'll see what an ordered mesh is versus what we created over here. Now, when you first come in here, it is going to prompt you in the lower right for the grid spacing. What is the grid spacing? 10 is kind of big, so I'm gonna do something like, I'm gonna say, uh, I'm going to put 24 in, so two, two foot. Now, it's going to ask you to draw two lines, basically a rectangle. I'm going to click a start point, and I'm going to select the long edge or the green axis, and then I'm going to slide across and select the red axis. So I'm going to click right here on the origin, and as I pull it up, it's, it's kind of hard to see, but it's actually creating here. I'll just go ahead and come up a certain distance with like that and then we'll start pulling across here. So this is what I'm drawing. I'm actually pulling a mesh out from that first point. And that mesh is two foot by two foot squares. So you can see as I drag to the right, it's not like dragging it uh, by fraction of an inch, it's actually jumping every two feet. So I'm creating an exact mesh, an exact number of pieces, uh, two foot by two foot squares. When I click again, it closes it and I have that. If I pick on it, again, just like the, the mesh that it created over here, it's in its own group. So if I double click, come in here and see that this is what it created. So this is what I was talking about when I said an ordered mesh. Every piece is exactly the same size as opposed to if I go view hidden geometry and look over here, it's stitched so it's an unordered mesh. It's just... Uh, whatever size it has to be to connect one point to the next. You will notice when I turned on hidden geometry, each of these squares got split. This is a mesh that is ready for use with the rest of the sandbox tool. So using this mesh, we're going to be able to go through and smooth and add detail and that sort of thing to this geometry. This is ready to be turned into landscape, a bumpy landscape using these tools. Again, like I said, this is the tool that's used to create that. This is not the only use it can be. Anytime you need an ordered mesh of a certain size with certain size uh, increments, you can use that. It is going to draw it flat out on the ground like this, and then you, but then, I mean, it's just SketchUp geometry. So if I want to rotate it up or put it in a component, anything like that, I know anything I want with it. It's, there's nothing special or sacred about this geometry once it's created. Uh, but now that you have it, you can use it any way you want. Okay, so that's part one. That was creating meshes. There's two different ways to do it and two very different uh, use cases. The first one is I already have my lines. I just need to create a surface out of them. That's what From Contours is for. If you're planning on doing any uh, customization, you wanna make your own landscape or your own uh, 3D geometry, uh, soft geometry, then you're gonna to wanna to start with that ordered mesh. The ordered mesh is gonna be a little easier to work with than the stitched together geometry that we created in From Contours. But uh, stick around, next week we're gonna go into adding some details and manipulating that mesh. It's a fun one and we get to say the word smooth a bunch of times. Come check it out. If you like that video, go ahead and click like down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos each and every week and you'll be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly, though, please do leave us a comment down below. We like making these videos a lot, but we like them even more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.